So let's look at the next one. The next one is comparator. So let's open node or jump into node and let's require ramda and put it in the variable r. Let's make sure we have it. That seems to work. So let's look at comparator here. Let me clean this up. So let's read the definition first. So comparator makes a comparator function out of a function that reports whether the first element is less than the second. So comparators we use when we, for example, want to sort something or when we want to use it in a condition, essentially. Like, like if you check this out, like if we say is 10 less than 20, that, that's true, right? And similarly, we can of course say is, is 10 greater than 20 or is 10 greater or equal than 20 or is 10 equal to 20 and all of that stuff like like these functions work because we have comparator functions for numbers sort of I mean probably it's not the same for numbers but for complex types this is kind of how it works so if I have let's say so actually I think let's jump into a file it's probably going to be easier to show this that way so let's go back here into the main file and let's clear out this old stuff so so let's say we have sort of this idea of a height of a height of height objects. So let's say we have an H1, which is which has some some height of a hundred, right? So it's an object that has the, the property height. And then maybe we have another one, which is a height H2, which is height two, and that's maybe 150. I have no idea what the unit is here. And then maybe this one is 20, right? And then uh, we have H3. And then what if we want to, s well, what if we want, we have, we have like an array of these, H1 and H2 and H3 in an array, uh, heights, let's say, and then we want to sort them. So uh, I can't remember, is it is it something like this? We say sort, oh, let's try this out, let's jump into, node again. Uh, so, so if I have an array of one, two, three, can I say sort? Yeah, sorry, but of course it was already sorted. <laughs> so if I have one, three, two, I get one, two, three, right? So, so that should kind of work. So I want to be able to somehow say sort. Of course, this I can't do, right? Because how would JavaScript know how to compare them? Let me just map a keystroke to, to running this file. So running this file through node. And then let's run that. Uh, sorry, I forgot to, of course, console log uh, heights dot sort. Let's remove this other one. Right? We still have 100 and 150 and 20. 100 and 150 and 20. I mean, that might be what we wanted. That might not be what we wanted. I mean, depends on our definition, of course. So, so let's actually, let's say that this is 10, so it's clearly not sorted in any reasonable sense of the word. And then we get 110 and then 20. I mean, so, so we just essentially get the same thing back, right? But... How does this work? I mean, let's look at the sort function of JavaScript. So let's go to the definition here, array.prototype.sort, okay? Sorts an element in place, and I assume we can, yeah, so here, right? If you look at the syntax, r is an array here, and then we call sort, and we pass a compare function. So I guess a comparator, right? So specifies a function that defines the sort order. La 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 la. So it uses Unicode if, if we don't supply a, a compare function. So I assume, maybe we'll see if I'm wrong, but I assume we can use this r.comparator to, to very simply construct a comparator function that works with, for example, JavaScript's sort function. So let's say here we want to say comparator. So the question is, how do we construct our comparator? Comparator. Of course, I mean, I, I, if you watch the other videos in this series, you know that there are simpler ways of doing this, and clearly I would advise using them in, in, in this case. But now we're just looking at comparator, right? Because you might have esoteric scenarios or, or more complex scenarios where you need to use comparator. Um, in order to be less cryptic, what I mean is you would probably use something like sort by or, or uh, so, some combination of sort of sort by and, and prop or some, so, something like this. I can't remember. But if you go upwards from where we are now, there are definitely the simpler, simpler solutions. Anyways, makes a comparator function, right? So let's, let's look at how they are using it. So they are saying, okay, to sort by age, uh, we say r.comparator, and then we construct a function that when given an a and a b, if age of a, if the age of a is less than the age of b, then it's true. So if you think about the definition, it makes a comparator function out of a function that reports whether the first item is less than the second item, right? So, so that what we're well, that's what we're trying to say. Is the first item less than the second item? Or more specifically, I mean, if we have, so r.comparator, we get past an a and a b, and then we need some kind of implementation. And, and, and this a is one height, 
this b is another height and then we have to say okay is a less than b so so let's say that we want to sort based on height right so if if the height of h1 is lower than the height of h2 uh, sorry not h1 sorry, sorry, sorry of a if the height of a is less than the height of b then well, then we should say that a is less than b if we're sorting by height right so so this should probably be by height right and, and maybe it makes sense now to say, okay, well, maybe it shouldn't be the, the objects, maybe these are sort of animals or something like that. So let's say animal one, animal two, animal three, animal one, two, and three, and then uh, heights become animals. Yeah, and that's it, right? So we have a bunch of animals, all of these animals have height, and here's a, here's a collection of these animals, and then we, we construct a, a sorter, right, a comparer, construct a comparator so we construct a comparator that, that we call by height because it's sorting by height and if and the comparator is constructed such that if you have two animals then the first one is less than the the second one if the height of the first one is less than the height of the second one right let's see if this actually works no ah, compare okay so I, I i misspelled something compa comparator comparator let's try again Comparator. Oh, sorry. Of course, because I changed it to by height. <laughs> sorry, silly me. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. So, so cons we console log the sorting of animals using the sorting by height, or the sorting comp using the comparator by height that we just created. And then let's actually do this output the original also first, so that we have that. Let's look at this. Right. So here's the original, 100, 10, 20, and here's the second one, 10, 20, and 100. Right, so that's how you can use comparator. You simply construct a you you pass it a function that for some specific type answers the question of whether the first element is less than the second element. And now suddenly that you have this comparator, you you can start to do all all sort of useful things. But anyways, that's comparator. Let's move on to the next one.